Hey guys, this is gonna be a really quick review of the WE Galaxy aka AAP01 copy. Uh, what most stands out for this gun is the fact it has a metal upper. Okay, you could even say CNC. Technically, it is CNC. It is just extruded, anodized aluminum tube with CNC cuts. But it is metal. We give that merit for that. Metal thread at the front. They machined it. Decent. I mean, it does a job. It also comes with the rail when you buy the gun. So it's kind of like that. And this pistol, I think, costs like uh, right now like 140. And considering this itself is 120, 110, I don't really know. Um, kind of make this neat. But uh, in when the beginning, when I saw this, saw this gun on Facebook, I saw this thing totally round, which would allow you to just DIY. Uh, any lengths you want, but they went sneaky and they made this really weird extrusion profile, which doesn't really make sense. Uh, you could say it's preventing the bolt to rotate, but you can't rotate it. You have this blowback, uh, you have this guide on top, you cannot rotate anyways. Uh, this is the bolt carrier, weight's about the same as the AP-01. This thing weighs 105 grams. I think AP01 is close to 100. I mean, that weight difference, not that big, considering they're both heavy. Uh, the bits that comes into contact with metal is metal. So in AP01, this is polymer, and here it's metal. Uh, kind of neat. The, uh, just the selector is a lot easier to use in this one. Nodo has a very small piston area, so that's why the blowback is kind of weak. Uh, it doesn't have a piston like a normal gun where you have the blowback housing and the piston. This one you have the rubber seal built onto the nozzle, so of course, dedicated nozzle, same as AP01. This fake shell catcher is what catches the nozzle. I think the AP01 is better because this one is actually tilting the nozzle every time you grab it. But it is metal and it looks a little bit more realistic. I do enjoy the much stronger recoil spring. It makes the gun look a bit more snappy. And uh, on the AP01 I had issues with aftermarket buckings. The nozzle, the bolt fails to return and uh, therefore fails to fire the next shot because it doesn't press the sears. Anyway, that's for the bolt. Heavy, but uh, not the worst. It's okay. I think compared to AP01, it's not losing. I mean, it does have the metal beads here and there. Oh, it has two rubber studs here that absorb the shock, which I think is a good, it's a nice touch. What I don't like is how this thing is secured to the gun. On the AP-01, you have two legs, really steady legs protruding from the rear side to this piece here to secure it in place. In case of the WE Galaxy, it's just one well, somewhat beefy screw, but it's just this screw that basically sits in this hole that holds this place. So with time, I do worry that uh, it's gonna deform the thread. The worst thing about this gun is the hole pop chamber. It, it adjusts itself through this flat head. You happen to be able to adjust it with your thumb, with your nails, but uh, I mean, if you're already going this road, why not a TDC? I mean, this is a flathead, it's meant to use a screw. The second worst thing is, this use a, a spring to force the arm down, which means 
when you adjust this screw, you are actually just releasing the tension of the spring. So more you, the more you turn it clockwise, the least the button is pressed because you're just releasing the pressure of the spring. The downside of that is, from my years of using Airsoft, this is just inconsistent way. See, I release now. I just tightened. Uh, yeah, actually, not yeah. And now I released the spring, so it, the spring is pushing more on the bucking. And if when I tighten it, it actually restricts the spring, so it pressed less on the bucking. So. This system is just normally very inconsistent because you have a spring controlling the backspin. It's not like a solid arm pushing down where you cannot flex. This one is flex around, so... NSW makes aftermarket chamber that doesn't break the bank. AAP01 wins. So, well, grip-wise, I... This trigger has a sharper break than the AP01. I kind of like it. Uh, it's a bummer that uh, this one you have to use this. You had to pull this pin to remove the upper. It's a little bit more complicated than the AP01. So this gun costs currently like almost a double of the AP01, and in my opinion, it's not worth it just because of this but then again when AP01 just came out it also cost like a hundred and something if <coughs> this ended up costing similar to a WE Glock like a hundred ten ish I would say it's okay I mean you get several colors it is a metal upper you have a metal thread you will still have that is if WE or right here in Ratech launches aftermarket chamber that is better than this one it would be a decent deal uh, you would get you can argue that this one looks better i actually prefer these two with different colors so and uh, this would be 110 for the upper plus 70 bucks for that and if you have a better chamber this is not a big deal uh, it's a good deal I think it's a good deal if the price drops down. For the current price, get the AP01. Uh, it's, it will just perform better because the whole pop chamber is better. Uh, yeah, and that's my opinion on it. I don't hate it. Like, I, uh, people think I hate the AP01. I don't. I think, I think it's neat. I, I'm just a high kappa guy and uh, I don't consider none of these pistols high end. That's it. Uh, the people tend to think this is like the ultimate pistol. For me, it's not. Uh, so, on the WE, kinda disappoint on this not being a tube. I was really excited to be able to, I don't know, build DMR or SMG just by taking like a carbon fiber tube or just aluminum tube or steel pipe, do some Dremel work and do it. Turns out it's uh, it's a custom extrusion. Bolt wise, it's the whole thing looks kind of rushed. I'm gonna be honest. Like this screw here, it just doesn't look as well thought out as the AP01. But I totally expect WE to just panic and looking at the, how good the AP01 sells and just push this out. But you do see some things it did. I enjoy this faking cartridge thing. I enjoy the rubber studs, the heavy recoil spring, the reinforced bits. So yeah, uh, tomato, tomato is gonna be uh, not too far away, from, not not too far off from this. Kind of expensive for what it is right now, but then again, it, it's a bad time. The AP01 just returned to the original advertised price, which is like 60, 70. 70 is the cheapest I found, and this just launched with quite a heavy price tag. 
So if one season gets cheaper for like 110, 100, 110, I would, yeah, I would pick it. And uh, because of the chamber, you have quite a bit of flash on top to just TDC it. So, and I, I like the color options there is. I like the metal thread. It also looks a little bit closer to the real uh, Ruger Mark III light. Yeah, yeah, it looks uh, looks interesting. I, I I like the visual of it. So yeah.